Then I also brought a copy of my application form, which they didn't scan because they said it's already online. So they didn't bother to scan it anymore. Hi guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Fritz and back again with another YouTube video about UK immigration. So stay tuned. So in this video, I am going to uh, talk about the requirements needed before you apply for your uh, um, citizenship. On my case, on my experience, we are going to check the uh, requirements uh, that is mentioned on the part of the indefinite leave to remain. So if you go through here. So here are the basic requirements mentioned in the UK Home Office website before you start your application for UK citizenship. So first one, you need to be over 18 years old. Second one, you need to prove your residence here in the UK, which is at least five years. Third one, you need to pass the life in the UK test. Next one, knowledge of English. Fifth one, you have the intention to continue living here in the UK. And the last one, you should be of good character. Those are just the basic requirements. When it comes to the residency status, it says at least five years. Within that five years, you should be um, of a permanent residence. That's impossible for me because in order for you to get an ILR status, you need to have been here in the UK for five years. And to be able for you to start your application for UK citizenship, you need to be at least be of a permanent residence or holding an uh, indefinite leave to remain status for a year. So that's a total of six years. I am going to share with you the documents or the supporting evidences that I passed during my appointment for my biometrics. So let's get into it. So after um, filling in the online application form, they will provide you a checklist of the documents you need to provide. So in my case, these are the documents or the supporting evidences that I submitted during my appointment. The passport issued by Philippines. Next one is proof of living in the UK for five years. Next one, current biometric residence permit, then proof of freedom from immigration time restrictions. Same uh, requirement, your BRP card. And last are the two referee declarations so that's a separate form that you will have to print and have it filled in by your two referees so I will do another separate video about the referee requirements and uh, watch out for that one if you summarize the checklist <laughs> it's uh, the um, the documents are so you know minimal it's not a lot they're not asking for um, some more but I provided additional documents just to prove that everything that I filled in on my online application were true. Um, aside from my BRP or my old um, visa as a proof of five years um, residence here in the UK, I also provided um, letter of employment from my employer um, since the day I started um, here in the UK because I didn't change my employer. So that's, I think it's a good thing. Because, you know, um, that's a way of um, proving that um, you have stayed here in the UK for five years. But if you change your employer, um, that's not actually a problem as well. As long as um, you can uh, contact them and ask them for um, proof of employment and uh, um, request for another um, letter of employment from your um, current employer. I also checked some uh, vlogs and YouTube videos as well and some uh, 
uh, read some forums and blogs on the internet. So I also provided my um, how do you call that? Um, P60, you know, P60 form. For the past five years, I um, I printed all my P60 and I also provided my latest payslip like um, three months worth of the my latest payslip. So, so those are the things that I uh, brought with me and I submitted during my appointment. So let's sum it up. <laughs> So first, I have my old passport. I submitted my old passport with my old and very first um, visa when I uh, arrived here in the UK. Yeah. And then my new passport and my BRP for my ILR. I also brought my... Um, of course, my appointment confirmation <laughs> here. They will scan that when you arrive on the uh, eh, on the area. Then I don't know if it's necessary, but um, I also submitted my bank statement <laughs> for the last two months. Then I also brought a copy of my application form, which they didn't scan because they said it's already online so they didn't bother to scan it anymore then my reference my referee form so that's two referees and my IELTS my life in the UK test the P60 forms for the last five years <laughs> I've been working and latest pay slips worth three months and my letter of employment from my employer so that's it <laughs> that's all the uh, um, documents or uh, evidences that I submitted during my appointment for my British citizenship application yeah, so that's all the requirements that I submitted for my um, British citizenship application. So thank you very much for watching this YouTube video and hopefully it will serve its purpose to help um, and assist you with your application as well. So thank you again very much for watching and if you are new to this YouTube channel and uh, you're planning to apply for British citizenship in the near future, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you would be uh, notified when uh, I upload the rest of the videos in this mini-series that I am making for um, British citizenship application. Thank you very much for visiting this uh, channel and uh, yeah, see you on my next videos. Bye!